Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashi Goyal and in this video we are to solve 3 power x plus 3 power 1 minus x is equals to 4 and we have to find the value of x. So let's start with the today's video solution. So first I'm going to break 3 power 1 minus x as 3 power 1 times 3 power minus x is equals to 4. So as we know that x power minus m, we can write it as 1 over x power m. So 3 power x plus 3 divided by 3 power x is equals to 4. Now by taking 1, I'm taking LCM. So 3 power x times 3 power x plus 3 is equals to 4. So we can write it as x power m multiply x power m. We can write it as x power m plus m. That is x power 2m. So 3 power 2x plus 3 divided by 3 power x is equals to 4. Now, 3 power 2x, we can use the property that is x power m n. We can write it as x power m power n. So, we can write 3 power 2x as 3x square plus 3 divided by 3 power x is equals to 4. Now, I am going to do multiplication 3 power x both sides and we can eliminate this so what is left 3 power x whole square plus 3 is equals to 4 times 3 power x i'm taking this 4 times 3 power x to other side here is in plus other side goes to subtraction side so 3 power x whole square minus 4 times 3 power x plus 3 is equals to 0. Now we'll do substitution. Let assume y is equals to 3 power x. So y square minus 4y plus 3 is equals to 0. Now it's look like in quadratic equation. So we can use the middle term split method. So 4y we can write it as minus 3y minus y plus 3 is equals to 0. Now from first two terms I can take y as common. So y minus 3 and from the next two terms if I'll take minus 1 as common so y minus 3 is equals to 0. If I'll take y minus 3 common so what is left? y minus 1 is equals to 0. Now we have two case. Case 1 either y minus 3 is equals to 0 and case second y minus 1 is equals to 0. From k, case first, y is equals to minus 3 goes to other side plus 3 and y is equals to minus 1 goes to other side plus 1. Now we know that we assume uh, y is equals to 3x so we substitute in case 1 first y is equals to 3 and the value of y is 3 power x is equals to 3. So if we can say that 3 has 1 power. If we compare both sides, the value of x is 1. Now come to case second. Here y is equals to 1 and the value of y is 3 power x is equals to 1. So we know that if a has power 0 that is equals to 1. So we can write it as 3 power x is equals to 3 power 0. So if we compare both sides the value of x is 0. So we have two values of x. So x can be 1 or 0. I hope it's clear and it's to solve. If you find it useful please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned.